Welcome to day four of Kids Camp. I'm Miss Faith, your camp guide. Today we're going to be talking about dirt and everything in it. God made dirt for a very important reason. Let's see what the Bible says. Then God said, let the land produce vegetation, seed bearing plants and trees on the land that bear fruit with seed in it, according to their various kinds. And it was so. The land produced vegetation, plants bearing seed according to their kinds and trees bearing fruit with seeds in it according to their kind. And God saw that it was good. God put dirt on the ground so that plants could grow in it. After God made dirt, he put lots of seeds in it so that they could grow to be all different kinds of plants. We're going to learn more about this in our special guest segment. And now it's time for the special guest part of our show where we have a special guest come out and help us learn about the Bible verse. This segment is hosted by our very own Sunday school teacher, Miss Elaine. Hey, Miss Faith, how are you? I'm good. Miss Elaine, what type of special guest do you have for us today? Well, we have a special one today since we're talking about God creating different plants. I have a sunflower to show you. Come on in. Oh no, not again. Miss Elaine, that's definitely not a sunflower. That's Miss Katie. Oh, don't worry. The kids will never notice. I don't know, Miss Elaine. All week I've been having parents calling me complaining that their kids know that the special guests aren't real. Oh, they'll think this one's real. Look, I even put a pot on her and oh, everything. Oh boy. Well, all right, we'll try it. What can you tell us about sunflowers, Miss Elaine? Well, they're called sunflowers because they're yellow, like the sun. And they get to be very tall. Some of them get to be 10 feet tall. Wow. Most people don't know a sunflower is not just one flower. It's made up of multiple flowers. The center is multiple flowers. Kind of like a family. So a sunflower is actually a bunch of little flowers coming together to make one big flower? Yes, like I said, it's like a family where there's multiple people coming together. Now I know that lately we've been together a lot as a family, but being part of a family is very, very special, just like our sunflower here. It's about everybody working together to accomplish bigger things. Thank you, Miss Elaine, and thank you for showing us this sunflower. Now, Miss Elaine's not the only Sunday school teacher who's going to be camping with us this week. Miss Jane has parked her trailer downstream a ways so that she can set up some craft projects for us to do. Let's go see. Hi, Miss Jane. Hello, Faith. Hi, Miss Jane. It's so good to see you again. Yes, it's good to see you. And we have a fun craft today. Oh, what is it? Okay, so you know we've been talking about dirt. Yes. And, okay, and there's so many neat things in the dirt. So our craft today is about a creature that lives in the dirt. And we're going to make an inchworm. Cool. And this is easy and fun. Yeah, all right? You ready? Awesome, yeah. All right, Faith. See okay. if you can show us what an inchworm is going to look like. So, to start out, all we have to do is cut a strip of paper in whatever color we want our inchworm to be. We have green pieces of paper because a lot of inchworms are green, but they come in all different colors, yeah, right? Some of them are fuzzy looking and black <laughs> and orange, you know, but God's, that's the way God made the world different. Yeah. And these can be what, however big or however small you want. You can make any size inchworm. We're just going to cut straight up on the smaller side of our paper. And then start folding it. So the first fold we're going to make is just to fold it directly in half. Then we're gonna open the strip up, and on each side, we're gonna fold in. And then 
we're going to do that one more time. Each side gets folded in. And then we just fold it together in half like that. And now we just have to cut it so that our inchworm is curved. So on each corner, we're just gonna make a little curve with our scissors. And this makes all the little segments of the inchworm. That's what helps him crawl. Yeah. So then we can just unfold the paper and we have our little inchworm. Oh, now we just have to make eyes and a smiley face on him, right? Right. Because this is a happy inchworm. So I'm just going to use my marker, make two eyes, and a smile. And of course, like any good inchworm, these inchworms move, right, Miss Dream? That's right. And it's neat the way they can scoot so quickly. Yeah, if we each have a straw here. We each have a straw, and if you use your straw to blow on your inchworm, he'll move forward. That's oh, really cool, Miss Jane. That's right. So isn't it wonderful, the inchworm, and how you can have your very own inchworm? in your house. That's great. I think I'm going to name mine Freddy. What are you going to name yours, Miss Jean? Well, I think I'm going to name my inchworm Isabel. Oh, that's very nice. Isabel the inchworm. That's a perfect name. She's a little Italian, I think. <laughs> Thank you for this inchworm craft, Miss Jean. Yes, that was great. Yeah, thank you. And I'm glad it's good to see you. Hope to see you tomorrow. Of course. I'll be back. Good. Good. It's the end of the day here at Camp Creation. I hope you've enjoyed learning about dirt and everything in it. Stand up and stretch your arms into the air so you can be tall like a sunflower. If you're watching with your family, have everyone stand in a line and stretch their hands up high together. Now, you're a bunch of flowers that have come together to make an even bigger one, just like a sunflower. I look forward to seeing you again tomorrow for another adventure. And now, the youth are gonna sing you out.